Hey gang, Scott here. So I, I had this thing I wanted to share with you about using a LUT that you've converted into a profile, a camera profile for Lightroom and some interesting uh, workflows with that and realized, well, I probably need to take one step back and show you how to convert a LUT into a profile you can use in Lightroom or in Camera Raw. So I'm gonna do that in this video, show you how to convert a LUT to a camera profile you can use with some Adobe products, and then come back in a few days and I'll show you this other technique about using a, a LUT as a camera profile, and specifically black and white ones. But uh, let's first talk about Great, you've got a collection of LUTs, you've got them from wherever you have them, and you like some of them, and wouldn't it be nice to be able to reach for them straight away when you're doing your processing? This is how you convert LUTs into a camera profile you can access directly in Lightroom or in Photoshop. First, we use Photoshop to convert a LUT that's in a cube format into a camera profile. Now, it doesn't matter what photo you open up in Photoshop. Just open some photo that you have, and you will add in the filter area a camera raw filter. And we're not going to do any changes in camera raw. We're just using camera raw to access this feature that lets you convert the thing from a cube format, the LUT from a cube format, into a camera profile. So over on the very right hand side in camera raw, you've got all these different icons and this triple dot menu. When we open that up, we usually see things here, you know, presets, edit settings, and so forth. I'm holding down the option key on Mac and you notice like everything changed from light to reset light and color to reset color. That also changes the options in this sub menu and we see create profile and I'll click on that. Now we have a variety of options. We have the name of the profile we're going to create. You can create groups of your profiles. And you'll notice I have these like favorites categories from other software, other editing software I use, where there are some LUTs I really like, and I'm converting uh, those ones I use very often to camera profiles because I, I tend to use LUTs earlier in my workflow. I want a certain color palette or tonality. Uh, but for creating it, for converting the cube file right here to a profile, we'll click on that. It's going to pop up, you know, uh, an explorer finder window. You find the cube file you want to work on. I happen to be up to San Diego in this particular collection of LUTs that I like. These happen to be from Luminar, and I like these, uh, these LUTs from Luminar very much. I'll keep the same name, like that, and I'll put it in my Luminar Favorites group. Click OK. All right, that's all done. Yeah. You've converted it, and it's taken that cube file, converted it into a camera profile, and put it out where Adobe stores camera profiles. Uh, depending on Mac OS versus Windows, the location is a little different. I have a link to a more detailed article on my website that has some additional information about those paths. Okay, great, you've done that. Now, how do you access that particular profile? Let's take a look at Lightroom Classic first. And if you're running Classic while you do this conversion, you'll need to quit out and restart. So once you've restarted Lightroom Classic, here's what you do. In Develop, in the Basic panel, we'll click on the browser for Camera Profiles, and you see the standards, you know, you've got your favorites, anything you marked favorites, the Camera Raw camera matching, the ones that are included with Lightroom Classic, and then anything else that you've moved over, that conversion process, store these out in a standard Adobe subfolder. And you can see here's that one San Diego and I can hover over that and, and do what I would normally do with with you know what I do with a LUT. I'm using the LUT as a camera profile. So you know that becomes readily accessible to you in Lightroom Classic. The only thing you have to do is restart Lightroom Classic after you've done that conversion using the camera raw filter in Photoshop. Now what about Lightroom, the you know the cloud version Lightroom? Uh, almost the same, a, a slight more uh, bit of work. And this is where you need to kind of know that folder where uh, where Photoshop stuffed things out. Uh, so again, check my website for, for those details. Uh, show notes below probably have it too. But uh, let me show you in, in Lightroom, not classic, but Lightroom, how you do the same thing. Now, in Lightroom, you're editing your photos and you have access to the profiles here. 
you can either click the grid or choose browse all profiles and you have that same kind of layout. You see those favorites, there's my, my built-in ones. Here are ones that I have added specifically to Lightroom. Well, in order to add in others, like here's my Luminar favorites, I had just converted San Diego, but it's not here yet. Triple dot menu up at the top where you have the profile and you import profiles. Click on that. You'd navigate to that folder in case this is a settings folder. And the settings folder has more than just camera profiles. There will be presets and other things in there. So know the name of the, the, uh, the LUT. You know, when you converted it and said, I want to make this profile. And in my case, I called it San Diego. I'm going to go find that profile right down there. Choose it. Import. And there it is, right? The, the profile itself knows what category it was in. And now, again, I can access that and I can use it as, as I would use a LUT in other tools. That same, uh, same process is uh, true for the Camera Raw filter in Photoshop. Right? Once you've done that conversion, you have access to these camera profiles in Camera Raw. So if you're doing everything in Photoshop and you're using Camera Raw as your, uh, your main raw processor, you have it there as well. Uh, but that is, is how you take a LUT and convert it into a camera profile you can use in Lightroom or Photoshop. Key things, needs to be in a cube format. Find a LUT that's in a cube format and use Photoshop Camera Raw to convert it the option or uh, alt key on windows to make sure you get that that uh, special uh, create profile option load it in save it out to a certain uh, you know a certain category or group and then for lightroom classic restart lightroom classic you'll have access right away for lightroom one more step to import that camera profile and then you've got uh, all your favorite luts kind of right at your fingertips if you are a Lightroom user and working Lightroom centrically. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.